Islanders of Sand Dogs. Thank you for joining me today. The leader of the group was telling me about the plan to save Sand Dogs from the Golden Tooth. Wait, did you say the leader? I'm the leader. Wait, who said that? It was Rocket. Well, don't believe anything Rocket said. No, but you really can't say it was your team. Well, okay. It was 12% of a plan. Maybe. Well, go on, introduce yourself. Have you forgotten who I am? This brain is so fresh. This is none other than Drax the Destroyer. See? The machine knows what. Anyways, I dance in circles around the tree, dude. You're a weird and embarrassing guy. It was a little distraction. Now we're going to get to the show. Thank you, Drax, for setting the weapon straight for our viewers. You are welcome. Not courage, Peter Quinn. To flail around the world, what do you to help save the day? You're not really making it sound as intense and dangerous as that. Our world would have been destroyed in the battle of the three. Were it not for the help we received from the Guardians of the Galaxy, I was fortunate to secure this exclusive interview with them. I am absolutely thrilled to speak with the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I'm a leader. And I'm also the captain. Captain Lee. A leader with Star Lord? Nah, we only let him think that. Don't call him Star Lord. His close friends call him Kenny J. Quill. So, it was your idea to help Sandler? More or less. Uh, okay, okay. It wasn't exactly my idea. Is this the famous fruit? Guardian knows. Make your wife see the rest of the Guardians that day in the battle. Tell us in your own words how that felt. I love you. You gotta forgive him. He's got what you call a limited vocabulary. What he's trying to say is, he can't sacrifice himself to save us all. Hands and all. Fortunately, he's planned it. So we can back. And they grow up so fast. Especially when you water them. Oh, I hear so. Greetings, Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Zandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born at the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the cosmic generator an advanced piece of Zandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts, linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcotters. Epcotians. Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on. Someone needs to tell me when I'm on. Welcome, Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Talmeric, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, 
I must ask you to put away your tearing communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I am very serious about this. Now, please step forward into the chamber. You're gonna love this.
Cuando se abren las puertas a los militares, entren en vehículos Star Jumper y asegure todos los objetos puestos. Tire hacia abajo en la barra de seguridad y empuje hacia arriba cuando se detiene. Permanezca sentado con las manos, los brazos, los pies y las piernas dentro del Star Jumper en todo momento. Y supervise a sus pequeños. Just a figure of speech tracks. Uh, we're lying to them. Now I understand. 